Hi there. Ugh, you scared me. Hi, you sure do like creeping around. Turns out I am interesting, looks like. What you need? That was fast. Need something? Yeah. So Savannah sent you? You're just a kid. True enough. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living or the dead? Say what suits you. Won't make the nights around here any shorter. Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. My cousin, Harper and Charlotte's cousin, she lived with the girls after her mama passed. I did, once, and now I don't. Charlotte was something special, just like our Jesslyn. She had the most beautiful voice. When she sang, it was like sunlight busting through fog. She was the talented one of the bunch. You can still hear her sing, if you stop to listen in the quiet, dark places. I don't need belief. I have proof. E. V. P. Here's some creepy things from time to time. Check it out whenever you want. If you got the nerve, Jessalyn didn't run away. And she wasn't kidnapped. Girl, girl. Fear ain't some feeling to overcome. Especially not here. That prickly feeling you get in that old house. That means something dark is whispering your name. Trust me. That's as close as you want to get. Huh, <laughs> not supposedly. Then consider yourself lucky. In my experience, of which I have significantly more, reality isn't that simple. This ghost was my cousin Charlotte, and yes, I saw her. I saw her grow up. I was here the night she died, and I've seen her since, much as I wish that wasn't true. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Where is she? Harper? What's she doing with Harper? Oh, no. They all got along famously. Until the night of the fire, Charlotte was getting ready for her big 21st birthday ball. And at the last minute went off to what is now the ruins. No one knows what started the fire. Clara grew up pretty fast, but Harper... She got lost in that night, and never got found. I'm only on the island because Jessen's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. Don't talk nonsense. Now that would ruin Claire's day. I'm gonna go get her. I told you, life don't play by the rules here. Anyways, if she was, she ain't now. You asking if I really went to jail? Yes, I advise against it. It's not a fun place, and they don't let you leave. I know what you meant. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid, that's all. The nerve you got. Get this straight, girl. I never hurt no one in my life. Now go. Go on, get. Savannah's talking to you about me? Don't suppose you could give me your number. Just so you know, she's going to be mad at you for giving me this number. She'll get over it. Do? Nothing. Back long time ago, so she told you. We, um, she and I were something of a couple. Long time ago. Been a long time since we talked. We went to the same bookstore. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading, like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the stories started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. 
dear sweet Charlotte, please come back, over and over again until they just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. Plane crash. Bad blood brings bad luck. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle, the evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. What do you think? Don't be so sure. Maybe you're right. Yep, same here. You wouldn't know by looking around here, seeing the state we're in. But we're loaded. The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. I don't speak ill of the dead, especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. That is where our troubles began. Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. Half saying this'll never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. But here it is, gray and dark under all the misery we've heaped upon it. No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Clara, that's Jesselyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé, depends what you mean by anyone. No. Here, take this. Yes, maybe that's enough for now. Clara, no. Dunno. The night before I saw her take off into the night holding this little package like it was precious to her. The look on her face... I should have stopped her, said, What is wrong? Good, sweet, nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. I do not like that shifty little punk. But I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Don't believe that. Because it ain't true. She used to come visit just to laugh at me through the glass. That was the price of hearing about home. You really want to know? Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad, locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked, right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. 
You don't even know the half of it. She couldn't come look at me through the other side of the glass. I never saw her again. I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimbal Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. You did. You don't look near as bad as most who see her. She terrifies everybody. Sorry. Yeah, you could say the same thing about Jessalyn. What kind of mess? I can handle myself just fine. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? Do you know Savannah? And now? What can you tell me about Charlotte? Sounds like you were close. Do you believe in ghosts? Why not? What made you call Savannah? I think you're just trying to scare me away. Nancy. Something dark? Savannah said Charlotte was supposedly a ghost. In my experience, ghosts tend to be not real. Have you ever actually seen this ghost? From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. I'm not exactly sure right now. She was working with Harper? Jessalyn's here. She's on the island. She's safe. Did Clara get along with Charlotte and Harper when she was younger? What exactly happened? After that, what about Clara and Harper? Why aren't you in the house? I met Harper. I did. I can prove it. She's down under the house. I swear, Harper was there. Is it true that you have a questionable past? Why? No, I mean, why did you go to jail? I'd really like to know. Was it anything, something that would make you a danger to someone like Jessalyn? Savannah seemed to think you'd be disappointed she didn't come here. Any reason why? Yeah, she's helping me with a case. Sure, it's 404-555-4478. I don't think she'd want that. Why? What are you going to do? Told me? How did you meet Savannah? You don't seem like the type. How long ago was this? What kind of stuff? What? What was the book? Why would she have that? Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? What happened to Charlotte and Harper's parents? Seems like there's a lot of misfortune in the family. I saw something I can't explain in the house. I don't believe in ghosts, but you said you were researching the family. Why? And now? I think you are. Maybe you're not. I don't know. What did you mean about the family being split in two? What's that have to do with anything? And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I found a set of graves without names on the markers. What happened? When did the factory accident happen? Were you close to Jessalyn? Does anyone actually live here? Who else is here? Anyone else? Any other alive or verifiably real people? Is this Charlotte's? Do you know what this is? Can you tell me what it's for? Who runs the family company? Do you think that's fair? Do you think that what happened to Charlotte was an accident? Would you like to run the company? What do you think of Colton? Clara told me that she never intended for you to go to jail. Why not? You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? I do. Okay. You must be pretty mad at Clara. What ended things with you and Savannah? Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? Why? That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. I'm not scared of ghosts. That's nice to know, but she terrified me. I saw the ghost.